Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sonia, a self-taught designer, hand letterer, and illustrator. In today's video, I want to show you how I created this virtual reality looking art piece. It looks like it's um, virtual reality 3D looking art piece using an app called Slide AR. If this is something that interests you, keep on watching. Okay, so the app I used um, is called Slide AR. So this is from a um, app store. You can just search for Slide AR. Um, and I did notice that this is an iOS app. So unfortunately, it only works with iPad or an iPhone. And I'm going to show you how I went about uh, doing this. So I already downloaded it. And then if you open up the app, um, initially, I think the first screen you're going to get is going to ask you to uh, sign in with an email and they're going to send you a link. So I'm going to show you quickly my email. So once you sign in, it's going to give you this email and it's going to give you this sign in to slide link. And once you click in, you will go into the main screen. So before I actually get started on using the app, one thing I want to mention is that you will need two devices in order for this to work. So in my case, I did my drawing in my iPad and I'm using my phone to actually show it as the virtual reality. So that's one thing to note. So this is a drawing that I did in Procreate. And once you're done with your drawing, you're gonna have to determine your layers. So this is gonna be the layers to determine which element it's gonna pop out the most, what's gonna be the second and what's gonna be the last. So in my case, I have divided into three different layers. So the very first layer will be the create creativity and coffee, which is going to pop out the most. The second most will be my, the rainbow part, the person and the objects. And then the last part will be the background, the coffee splashes and some decorations. So I only divided into three layers. And once you have determined that, all you need to do is just export the file as a PNG one by one. So for example, if I'm doing the first layer, I'm going to grab that, go to tool and just go ahead and share and then select the PNG because your background has to be transparent. And I'm going to go ahead and save image. And then you're going to do the same thing for the rest of them. Number two, PNG, save image. And then last one, PNG and save image. Now, instead of um, going to the app in the iPad, you're going to use your phone. So this is why you need two devices. Basically, you're, all the files that you exported from Procreate, you're going to input it in the app through your phone and then you project the iPad and that's how it's going to show uh, like a virtual reality. It will all make sense when I start doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the slide AR app in the phone. If you see here, there's a slide section. You have to just click the plus sign and then you're going to go ahead and add all your layers. So here there's a plus sign. Click on that. Go to your photo library and then add the layers that you have exported. Okay, I have three layers, as I mentioned before. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. That's the second one. And then do the last one. Okay, there you go. Okay, so the ordering does matter. Whatever's on the very farthest is gonna be on the bottom. Whatever you want it to be on the front that pops out the most is gonna be on the top. So once you're done with that, you're just gonna click on the done button. The next section is going to ask you to set the target. So this was a little confusing to me. I wasn't sure what they meant by the target, but basically what you need to do is the final art piece, uh, the put together art piece will be your target. So you're going to go ahead and click on set target and I'm going to go to my photo library and then I'm going to just go ahead and set this as a target. Once you're done, so this is my final piece, right? So I'm going to click on done and it's gonna open up a camera. Now what you wanna do is you need to project the, the phone to the final piece, which is the target that we set. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my iPad and then go to the final piece that we just did. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put my phone right on top of uh, the iPad screen. And it's gonna kinda start looking like the 3D. Okay, I didn't think the camera was showing that well, so I kind of moved my moved my um, camera to show. So this is my phone projecting my iPad, which has the target, right, the end piece, that's starting to look like 3D. Now you could also edit. You click on edit button right here, and then you will show all the layers. You can switch layers if you wanted to. Let's say, for example, if I want to change that, it quick it changes right away. I'm gonna change that back. And then one more thing is there's gonna be a slide bar at the bottom. The more you slide toward the right, the more it's gonna pop up. So I'll show you here. See that? So let's say I let go. I go done. See it's popping out even more. I go to edit, I slide that down, then it does a little less. And I go click on done here. There you go. So that's what you're doing. If you want to, let's say, post this on Instagram, you just have to record it right there. It'll record the video for you. Once you're done, it will export the video and then you can use that file to upload if you wanted to. That's all I have for you. Um, unfortunately, the lighting today wasn't the best condition, but I um, hope I find that helpful. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.